Welcome. In this video, I will show you a simple way in which we can implement a sorting mechanism for Blazor. I guess you are all familiar with the fetch data component that gets shipped with every newly created Blazor project. I will extend this component in a way in which our users can sort the generated weather forecasts according to the date and the projected temperature. I will create a new solution. To showcase our sorting mechanism a bit more, I quickly manipulate the weather forecast service so that instead of only five generated forecasts, we receive 15. I go to the bespoken component. Here I will start with the UI so that the users can choose their desired sorting mechanism. I will present the user four options. The first one is newest first. Second one, oldest first. The third one, highest temperature first. And the last one, lowest temperature first. The selected option has to be bind against a string. For the string, I'm not choosing a simple field or auto implemented property, but a fully implemented property. And the reason for that, I give you that in a moment, the back king field is called selected sword in camel case and the property is called selected sword in Pascal case. The add binds directive, selected sword. If we would leave it like that, Blazor would take the value inside the option tags as the, the value that gets bind, but I simple, I make it a bit simpler. Because I only use keywords. So now you have my asked why have I chosen keywords? Because the heart of our sorting mechanism is a dictionary with key type string and value type action. In the initialized async method, uh, we have a name conflict, selected sort dictionary I initialize the dictionary with one of the new dictionary initializers and now because I have chosen these small names it's a bit simpler for me now every string gets assigned an action and that action takes the weather forecast, does something with it, with the sequence, and assigns the newly created sequence back to the forecasts. So old, so we want the oldest forecasts first. <clears throat> so we make order by descending as, as point date. We have to call to array. If we want the newest forecast first, we can simply 
um, cross out the descending. If you want the highest temperature first, we have to substitute date with temperature. And the lowest, was it low or was it cold? High, low, lowest temperature. I have to change that to temperature two. So what's happening here? Lynch is not mutating the underlying sequence. Lynch creates a new sequence uh, out of the underlying sequence. And the newly uh, created sequence gets assigned to the original sequence. The question now is how do these actions uh, getting invoked? That's where our fully implemented property comes into play. To invoke the actions in the dictionary, we provide the dictionary the key. The key is selected sort, so the value that the user has provided in the select. And we invoke the action delegate. Because the delegate is of type action, it doesn't uh, need any arguments here. Let's have a look. We navigate to the fetch data component. By default, it's ordered newest forecast first, oldest first, highest temperature, and the lowest temperature. Thank you very much for watching.